Hello, and thank you for joining us for today's presentation to help you get organized and reduce risk with better employee record keeping. My name is Sherry Willman with Peachtree Product Management. Your presenters today are Mike Savory, also with Peachtree Product Management, and Charles Arundel with Peachtree Partner, HR411.com. Before we get started, I'll go through a couple of details. We've muted all the phones to avoid background noise, but you can still ask questions at any time throughout the presentation. We'll be answering your questions at the end. You can submit questions by typing them into the questions panel and clicking send. You can open and close the question panel by clicking the arrow button as we've shown you here. And now with today's agenda, let me introduce Mike Savory. Thank you, Sherry, and thanks everyone for joining us today. Here's what we're going to be talking about. Uh, first, I'm going to take you through a quick tour of some of the new features in Peachtree 2010 that are designed to help you centralize and better organize your employee records. Um, if you're using an earlier version of Peachtree, this will give you an idea of, of what's been added in the latest release to help in that effort. Uh, if you're not using Peachtree at all, uh, this is a great preview. Uh, hopefully you'll take a deeper look at it, but at least it'll give you an idea of some of the types of data that you want to start keeping track of, uh, whether it be in your accounting application or elsewhere. So we'll take you through those features and then I will hand it over to uh, Charles Arendale who is going to take you through the eight most common record keeping mistakes and uh, some ideas for how you can avoid making those mistakes in the future. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over into Peachtree and show you how you can store more of your employee records in one place. And this was kind of the top issue that we found when we did the research into this among Peachtree customers. We found that they keep um, employee records in multiple locations, disconnected locations, spreadsheets, uh, paper files, um, maybe some within Peachtree um, and elsewhere. So uh, that was kind of the main thing. And, and, and most of the people we talked to recognized that that was an issue. They couldn't get a hold of the information when they needed it. They needed it to be more organized. Um, we also added a feature to allow you to keep records of uh, performance reviews in Peachtree. This is something that we saw was quite consistent, even among smaller businesses. Most small businesses that have employees in some way conduct performance reviews, and it might be quite informal. There may not even be any um, associated paperwork, but uh, but these reviews are conducted just to give employees on a, on a regular basis an idea of where they stand. And so now you can use Peachtree to better organize those records. And then um, the third thing is to set reminders of important employee related dates. And this was the number two issue that was brought up by the Peachtree customers that we talked to when we, when we talked to them about problems with employee record keeping. They said it's not proactive. It just sits there in a spreadsheet. It sits there in a file drawer. And sometimes I miss important dates. I need to set reminders. Uh, based on those dates and yeah I can do that in my email application or other reminder program but it's uh, you know it's disconnected from where those records are stored so we'll show you how to use uh, Peachtree alerts to set up some of those important dates so let's go ahead here and switch over into Peachtree 2010 and of course to maintain employee records we click on the maintain menu and we select employees and that will pull up the employee maintenance screen and from within the general tab you'll see um, a lot of the same information that you're used to seeing if you're using an older version of the product we've added a few new fields here including additional email fields uh, we heard that people want to be able to keep track of um, a personal email address in addition to business email and then we added two more phone number fields so you can keep track of maybe uh, home phone, work phone, mobile phone, other types of phone numbers we also added a photo so you can uh, attach a photo of your employees you don't want to forget what they look like and I'm going to switch over into the additional info tab which is where uh, more of the, uh, most of the new information lies um, so this is a new tab added to the maintenance screens and the first section here is emergency contact information It's very important um, to be able to put your hands on this information when you need it so you, you can store the name and contact information there. Uh, demographic information including birth date, marital status, gender, and ethnic origin. Uh, this type of information is good especially for businesses that are uh, about 15 employees or more that start to run into um, 
equal employment opportunity issues and other types of compliance uh, requirements. You'd want to keep track of this information. Charles is going to talk a bit more about those specific requirements. And then uh, employment details down here you have things like job title code, division, location. It starts to be more applicable to um, the, the larger end of small businesses, um, but you may want to better organize your organization, if you, especially if you have multiple departments or even locations. You can also specify a supervisor here by selecting from a list of all the other employees uh, within your Peachtree company. And then to the right you have uh, some more details such as employment status, which is a customizable field you can put in your own statuses there. You have hired and terminated dates, rehired dates. You also have um, fields for to specify I-9 verification and I-9 re-verification for um, employment eligibility. Uh, and uh, Charles is going to talk a bit about that as well. And then I'm going to go over into the Pay Info tab, which is an existing tab within the maintenance records. And here you'll see a new button, Performance Reviews. That'll pull up a list of uh, performance review records. So you can specify the date of the performance review, the rating, and that rating is customizable. You can put whatever ratings you use in there. The reviewer, uh, some quick notes about the review. And then if you want to go into more detail, or maybe you have some supporting documentation, uh, you can actually add files. You can attach files to each of these records. Um, you just click on Add, and then we go to Browse for a, uh, a file. Locate it here, adds it to the list. So you can store copies of all those files, uh, so they're really easily accessible there. Click OK. And then the last field I want to draw your attention to is the next review date. And so you can set that date. And I'll show you how to set a reminder for that so you don't miss the next review. So there we go. We created our review record. Back to the uh, Maintain Employee screen. I'm going to go ahead and close this out and show you real quick um, how to set those alerts. So um, I'm going to go up to the Tasks menu and go to Action Items. This pulls up my Action Items list, shows me my existing alerts, as well as to-dos and events. I'll click on the Alert button up at the top to create a new alert. So here we have some existing alerts. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. And to do that, I uh, under the Apply To column, I'm going to select Employee. This is a, an employee-based alert. The from and to specifies the range of employee names. So if you wanted to limit the alert to a certain number of employees, you can do that. I'm just going to select the first and last in the list, and that way uh, everyone is selected. Under type, I'm going to scroll down a bit. We'll see some of those dates we were just talking about, like the employee birthday, service anniversary, I-9 re-verification, and next performance review. So I'm going to select next performance review as the type and then under condition I'll say I want to be notified of the next performance review uh, 15 days before that date occurs. So here's my alert. It's all set up. I can also optionally choose email if I wanted to have uh, an email reminder sent to me as opposed to uh, having it just pop up within Peachtree. I would fill in the details below for email address and notes and subject. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click OK and save my alert. One last thing here on this action item screen, if you click on Options, click on the Startup tab, you have the option to display action items each time the company is open. So um, each time you open your Peachtree company, the, uh, the list of the action items will display for you so you don't miss those. So there you have it. That's a quick tour of some of the employee record keeping features that we've added in Peachtree 2010. Uh, if you'd like more information on those or any other features of Peachtree 2010, if you want to compare it with the version of Peachtree you have now, uh, check out peachtree2010.com for all of those details.